This is Stacy Marshall with Printware Magazine. Matt Vassallo with the RidingStoneWorld.com. Richard Greaves with ScreenMaking.com. Brian Walker with RTP Apparel. You are listening to the Two Regular Guys Podcast. 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 It's hosted by Terry Combs. Terry Combs. Terry Combs. And Aaron Montgomery. Aaron Montgomery. Aaron Montgomery. Keep on listening. I don't know if these guys are or that regular. All right. Well, welcome to the show. It's Friday, January 31st, 2020. I'm Terry Combs, and you can find me at terrycombs.com. And I'm Aaron Montgomery, and you can find me over at aaronmontgomery.info. Uh, today, we're going to welcome in uh, Vic Autry, Victor Autry, and to talk about selling digital printing on Shopify. Vic and I go back, so I just call him Vic, but uh, you know. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to talking to Vic here today and uh, excited to uh, talk a little bit about Shopify, a tool that... Uh, I'm I'm really enjoying using uh, with my wife's uh, business over there at WeHeart.biz. You know, she's spending most of the time on it, but I get to uh, help her with background stuff. In fact, she was actually going through one of Vic's apps that I'm sure we'll talk about here today, Terry. So super, yeah, good stuff. And uh, yeah, I apologize if I seem awkward today because I don't know what to do with my hands uh, as <laughs> as Eric is behind the scenes and and uh, really making my life easy. So thank you very much, Eric. You are the the bomb and we appreciate it very much so uh hopefully i'll do a better job hosting today terry maybe i can step it up <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right not true though you you normally uh are, are doing three things at once here while, <laughs> while talking so <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh i'm excited about it so uh, you know eric's done that for us before but uh i actually took myself even out of the front end so i can't touch anything all i have all I can do is read the script and smile at the camera. So we're, we're <laughs> right. good. We're good. Uh, hey, Terry. So before we get started, though, I do a uh, super exciting uh, announcement to make here. Um, as you recall, we had uh, one Jay Bissell, somebody you're very familiar with. Uh, in sure. fact, you guys work together over there at Equipment Zone. Uh, and uh, he was on our program talking about a style guide. And uh, that style guide is ready for prime time. He's uh, polished it. He's uh, done. I mean, the guys worked. He's a perfectionist, I'll tell you that, uh, and I and I love every bit of that. But uh, he's really, really put in a lot of effort to make this thing just a, a tool that is super easy to use. So it's called Your Style Guide. And uh, actually, if you want to check it out, if you go over to tworegularguys.com/ysg, which stands for Your Style Guide, uh, if you just head over there, that'll take you to the link where it's at. Um, so that thing is out and available now for purchase. And uh, he's got a really sweet introductory offer going on until February 15th. So it's $100 off the price. You just use the code launch and uh, that code launch will uh, will get you that $100 off. And then he's also doing another special deal that I thought was pretty cool. The first 20 people that buy it, uh, he's going to give them a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute brand audit. So you get to kind of go one-on-one -on -one with Jay, getting that audit done and, and, you know, kind of asking questions and get the taco master there. So that's, uh, <laughs> you know, and that, but that's the cool part about Jay. He gets branding. So tacos is his brand, you know, and, and it's, it's really he's cool. The, he's the C CTO chief taco officer, chief taco officer. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. Every time I see something that's like a taco shirt or something like that, the first thing I think of is Jay. And that's what, that's what a brand does. It makes you want to think about, who that person is. So uh, it's pretty cool. So, um, uh, I, you know, I just sent him a, a gift yesterday that I, I just ran across. It was uh, someone going, Ugh, I need a taco. <laughs> 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 but, but anybody who, uh, who's ever been to one of, uh, one of Jay's presentations, uh, you know, you got to buckle your seatbelt and, it's like one of those uh, posters from the seventies where the, 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 you're sitting in front of the speaker and your hair is blowing back. <laughs> that, that, that's the way Jay, uh, Jay operates and, and his style guide is, is, uh, is delivered in, in same, in the same manner. So yeah. Yeah. It's but, really great. Up. Yeah. So <laughs> like I said, first 20 people get that opportunity. So uh, Terry, let's, let's just wait for everybody to go buy it real quick and then we'll, okay. we'll give them a moment and then. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We're, we're actually, but <laughs> do it as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, don't miss what we're going to talk with uh, Vic about here today, but uh, definitely want you guys to, to check that out as sooner rather than later and take advantage of that, that great opportunity. Uh, Terry, the other thing that I had here before we get into this is we were remiss last week. And, and uh, I know Christine, if she's listening in, is going to actually be a little bit horrified, but uh, we forgot the dad joke. <laughs> so, it's I uh, 2020 thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I asked my eight-year-old to uh, help me out with this, and uh, here is the the dad joke of the week for everybody. If uh, if this is a groaning situation for you, you can go ahead and tune out for about five seconds here. But uh, Terry, what can you serve but not eat? What can you serve and not eat? I I don't know. What is that? A volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like uh, your joke and not your son. So. Yeah. Well, he he said it was a tennis ball, and yes, so I I, oh. I tuned it, <laughs> tuned it accordingly. So yes, yeah, to fit you that. exactly. <laughs> All uh, right, Todd, Aaron. Todd's got one though. Real quick, okay. I'm sorry. The shovel was a groundbreaking tool. So <laughs> Todd is the king of the uh, of the dad jokes. So yeah, for sure, for sure. Cool. All right, uh, before we go any further, though, Aaron, uh, we want to thank everybody for tuning in to two regular guys podcast if you're listening to the podcast version uh, we would appreciate you sharing with your friends so they can become regulators too and uh, we would love and appreciate you to give us a review on apple podcast stitcher or wherever you're listening right now and we are also always looking for new guests if you or anyone you know would like to join us go to calendly.com slash two the number two regular guys uh, and give us your show ideas and if you're watching us live right now Join in with your comments and questions and reach out to your industry friends right now and have them sign in as well. Yeah, I, I appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, uh, all of the great comments so far already. But uh, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsor, uh, Impressions Expo. I keep wanting to call it ISS, but Impressions Expo. <laughs> what is Impressions Expo? Impressions Expo, formerly known as ISS, is the premier trade show dedicated to the imprinted and decorated apparel industry. They have five shows that are produced annually in each region of the United States, including Long Beach, California, Atlantic City, New Jersey, Orlando, Florida, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and cap off the year at Fort Worth, Texas. Each of those five annual shows also feature over 30 seminars and hands-on workshops in categories such as screen printing, embroidery, digitizing, digital decorating, and much, much more. Visit ImpressionsExpo.com for more details. And while there, use the promo code REGULARGUYSIE for a free expo pass. Again, make sure you visit ImpressionsExpo.com to get more details. And the two regular guys look forward to seeing you there. All right. Well, thanks to Impressions Expo, and thanks for including me in that video. It looks like <laughs> I'm very intensely talking about uh, products to so customers. Intense, Terry. I, I'm so an intense, intense guy. Always <laughs> very, very serious, especially at trade shows. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right, right. we're ready to welcome uh, Vic in. Yeah, let's do it. If you can uh, welcome him in there, Terry, and we'll get into uh, the conversation here. All right. Well, Victor Autry is a visionary entrepreneur and founder and CEO of iPersonalize. <laughs> Uh, as an innovative and creative software developer, Victor seeks to bring the latest cutting edge personalization technologies techn uh, typically uh, available to only large companies down to smaller companies and startups in the graphics, printing and communication industries. Uh, Vic is uh, regarded by his peers as a thought leader in the emergency emerging. <laughs> <laughs> you are emerging fourth wave of mass communication. Um which uh, Vic renames mass personalization since customization is about products and personalization is about people. Yeah. And we're going to be talking Shopify. So Shopify has become the go-to e-commerce platform in the world with over 1 million users. Sure. Digital printers can greatly increase their online presence by using Shopify to be their base of operations for selling products, not online, uh, not online in a Shopify store, but also through other online channels like Facebook, Etsy, Amazon, and more. Yeah, definitely. So, Vic, before we dive into this, though, um, I understand that you might have a dad joke for us. I have, having raised five dollars, I have a great dad joke. All right, I'm ready. Did you hear about the Indians that drank iced tea all day? No. They drowned in their teepee. <laughs> I, oh, I love it. I love it. I said no. I've actually heard that my that was my uh, my great grandmother's favorite joke uh, growing up. 
<laughs> guarantee to give your daughters or children groans. Don't yeah. say it, Dad. Don't say it. Don't, don't, don't do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right, Vic. Well, let's let's dive right in here because we got lots of great information okay. that we we're looking forward to hearing about here. But why do you think Shopify in particular has seen such a growth in people using their platform? We talked about you know being over a million users. You know how how does this kind of blowing up of Shopify? Why and then you know what does that translate into for other platforms? For example, well, Shopify has it started off uh, with their app store, which is really has been the fuel that has made Shopify grow. You know, online everybody knows that online sales is growing crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up twelve percent last year. Uh, it just keeps going and going, and you know, retail store fronts are closing. That trend is going to continue for the immediate future. There's no question about it. Shopify, based out of Canada, Toronto, from the get-go, their sites, their their philosophy was to make it as simple as possible. And to also, with their Shopify app store, they allow developers like us to create apps that, you know, if you wanted to add, say, uh, Aaron and your, and your wife's uh, uh -huh. Shopify store, if you wanted to add loyalty points or something. Well, you could contact a developer like me. I say, okay, yeah, we can develop that for you. It'd be about a month or two. It's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars. I'll put some coders on it. But alternatively, you can go to the Shopify app store and I guarantee you there's six or seven different extensions or apps already built, yep. some of which will be free that are tested and work. And I will tell you, it's not easy to get an app in the Shopify app store, having just been through this process last yeah, year, yeah. it's got to work. Yeah. And they really run you through the ringer. Uh, I built an Apple app one time years ago, and and uh, this was tougher than that. So they've wow. just got all these tools at your disposal to sell. And, yeah. you know, we know that selling is where it comes down to. You can have a great site, but by God, you got you got to be able to get people there to buy and to uh and and to you know make sales that's you know, your money is the revenue the lifeblood of your organization you got to get sales yeah. so that's why i believe it's just they've been successful at helping their merchants get sales yeah well, and, that's good. and make money so that's the bottom line nice well so Vic, how do you how do you think shopify in particular has uh um well let me let me rephrase that so You've been doing uh, online selling for a while. So how has that changed the decorated? I don't want to say decorated products. I want to say personalized products. <laughs> <laughs> how's that uh, changed the business in general? And how's it uh, uh, changed your business? Well, you know, you know, in, in the printing business, the decorating business, uh, years and years ago, I won't go back to the 70s or 80s <laughs> or 90s, but, you know, it was analog printing. It was long run, long runs of merchandise. And you and people, you know, and I was from the promotional products world doing corporate programs and corporate stores. We would put massive amounts of of inventory in stock. Now, now that things have gone digital uh, and there's, you know, there's sublimation, laser etching, all this great uh, equipment that that are relatively inexpensive. Anybody can buy and learn how to use uh, it's, it's now that it's gone that way. It's just a lot easier uh for people to go into the business and to and to actually decorate products online if they want to do just one or two or three you don't have to do long runs anymore so in the promo world you can have non-inventory non-inventory corporate programs that's that's big back in the day when i did american airlines program if you had a million dollar program you used to put about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of merchandise on the shelf pre-printed hoping somebody will at American Airlines will buy it. Right. <laughs> and, and, you know, after 9-11, they told us we're not signing for dead inventory anymore. We said, uh oh, you know, yeah. you, it's just non-inventory programs. You can turn it quick. Uh, you know, merchandise is usually produced in three or four days and shipped out. It's just a huge advantage. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It, that is a big, big change to the, the marketplace. And yeah. uh, obviously you guys have been adapting. So, Vic, uh, maybe two things here a little bit, because we've kind of dove kind of headfirst into all of this, and I want to make sure everybody kind of gets gets a sense. Okay. But um, so your business is is ipersonalized.com. Right, right. And, and you've kind of evolved that, um, you know, from Facebook and Shopify and all that other stuff. But, you know, so 
uh, you mentioned an app and we'll talk about that a little bit more okay. here down the road, but feel free to you know share whatever you want there. But okay. I, what I'm, I guess what I'm asking is, you know, as this has all progressed, now you're inside Shopify, but does Shopify allow you to do other things than just an e-commerce site? I mean, how, how that tool work? Well, more they, broadly? they provide more than a simple e-commerce site. Uh, I mean, here's a great thing uh, for a lot of your folks that I, I'm sure are looking at the business and thinking, do I want to get into this or not? Is there an opportunity? How expensive is it? So forth and so on. You know, with Shopify, they have a Shopify Lite membership costs nine dollars a month. OK, and you can basically put a product in there and and put your design on it. But basically, it'll, it'll allow you to take a, it's. It allows you to create a link, a smart link, if you will, and and put it on Facebook, Instagram, Flickr. You can you can put that link anywhere. You can you can send it out to email to your friends and family, you know, like I say, Facebook Messenger, and you can actually try that out and see if it works, see if that sells, see if that product idea that you had there sells. Uh, uh, I think that's just a really smart way for a lot of people to get started and to and to go into the business. Uh, it's inexpensive. Uh, unfortunately, those links don't allow personalization, but that's OK. Still, 60 percent of our business is without any online design on it. It's just great design, great content. People need to focus on that and make sure they've got something before they frankly, before they spend money on printers and blank products and all this. Make sure you have an idea, a product concept that will sell yeah. and test it. And that's a great way to do it. Yeah. Well, Vic, when you, when you say Shopify light, does it limit the number of uh, products you can sell or what, what makes it light? It is. It does not. The only thing light about it is that it really does not give you a website. OK, it, it gives you these links that you can use to put into they call it a multi-channel, omni-channel taking up. You can host your products in Shopify as many as you want. And then you can take them and place them into Amazon, Etsy, uh, a, oh, a huge number of other platforms that you want to. And uh, and then as you get experience and you learn that that works, and then it's a simple upgrade for twenty nine dollars. Now you can get a website and uh, in Shopify that you know I've we've done oh probably close to a hundred Shopify stores now, and uh, th that twenty nine dollars covers. Uh, virtually everything you need. You may conceivably want something a little out of the ordinary, and you may have to pay seventy nine dollars a month to ship Shopify. But I've only had that happen once out of all the ones we've done. It was because yeah. they had a special shipping deal they wanted to do. But it's just so efficient, easy to use. I've I've, I've enjoyed going on and showing people that are. You can tell when you talk to them, they're scared. How do I do this website? I, yeah. I don't know anything about it. And I know what a domain name is, but how do I set up the merchant account? Blah, blah. And I, I, it's, I've enjoyed going through and say, look, just click here, <laughs> go down here, do this. You know, it's always easier. If someone explains to you how something works. And I like sure. doing that. Uh, and so we do that. And it's just very efficient, very, very inexpensive way to get going. So, yeah. And, and plus all the tools you could ever want to grow as fast as you want to. Yeah. Um, uh, we uh, some of the changes coming down the pike, uh, we're seeing a, a trend toward more and more B2B business. You know, everybody gets into uh, a lot of people get in these businesses and go, OK, well, I'm going to make my designs. And it's going to be like basically I call it personalized gifts or custom gifts, if you will. But uh, a very strong growing segment, particularly with Shopify, and they're really focusing on this is B2B business doing these uh, company stores, uh, promotional product stores, or just doing setting up a store for a company so they can buy something from you. Yeah. Uh, advantage to that is you really don't have to market that. Uh, if you know who the company is, who their employees are, and, and you've got to deal with the company, they're going to market it for you, right? So you don't have to worry sure. about all the other B2C marketing problems. So Anyway, did I answer your question, sir? So. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely did. All right. Well, we've got a couple of great questions from the uh, folks in the comment section here, but let's uh, real quick before we get to that, uh, Terry and and Eric in the background there, let's uh, take a quick break. Hear a word from a sponsor here, and then yeah, we've got lots more stuff to dig into here, Vic. So uh, looking right. forward to it. Thank you.
Let's talk organization. Keeping your shop organized is crucial to growing your screen printing business. Printavo helps thousands of shops keep their teams on the same page and look professional to their customers. If you're always getting tapped on the shoulder with questions, missing order due dates, or just ready to get to the next step in your shop, Printavo is your solution. Printavo allows shops to create consistent quotes, automate quote and art approvals, schedule jobs, collect payments, and now create online stores, all inside one platform. Being cloud-based, you can even use Printavo from home and with remote employees too. Printavo has a free trial and demo, which you can sign up for at their website, printavo.com. Check out printavo.com for more details and tell them the two regular guys sent you. All right. Well, thanks to Bruce and all the folks over at Printavo for their support. And uh, make sure you check out their software and tell them that the two regular guys sent you over. Yeah. Hey, okay. So let, let's let's go back and uh, catch a, a, a comment, a question here from one of our uh, listeners, okay. live listeners, one of the regulators. Um, and uh, I got to scroll up to find it. But uh, Eric, it's from Justin. And uh, there we go. Thank you. Can Shopify be used for service-based businesses, digitizers, for example, where a user can send art, get it digitized, and download finished files, or it's strictly selling a finished product? Vic, do you, do you know the answer to that one? I think you could set up a product where they could go in and upload a, an image that they want to get digitized. You could actually charge them for that, and then it would come through to your system, and you could... You could um, send it back to him. Yeah. I, th I, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. It'd be, I, but it's, it'd, be, it'd be a good application of it. Yeah. 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 And I think like, like you said, Vic, you know, the great thing about Shopify is, is it does have that app store and it, you know, people have built a lot of really cool apps and I know, you know, file management and, and uploading right. files and stuff like that are, are, are several of the apps out there. It's a common thing. Yeah. So yeah, we, for sure. We, we, do we have another question? We, we do have one more, and I, I think it's more uh, J being J, but I, I, let's let's answer it anyhow because it's fun. Can I use <laughs> Shopify Lite to test selling tacos online? I couldn't, <laughs> but you probably could, Jay. I, I could. <laughs> <laughs> you well, probably could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you Apparently, were talking about the app store, and we we've built an app called Tsunami, yep. which uh, apps are plugins. Okay, there, there's two ways to get things into these stores. Is you know, we integrate in. If somebody wants to have the products like on your wife's store, Aaron, she mm -hmm. wanted to have those personalized. We could integrate in. Takes us a few days. We have to write a little code. We do it all the time, though, and we can do it that way. But a app is a plugin that you just get from the app store, and it and it and it has to be built to Shopify specs, so it goes in there smoothly and it works. And so we've built one called Tsunami that basically does. Uh, online personalization as well. And frankly, I'm, I'm proud of it because it's the only app in the Shopify app store that has personalization built in and drop shipping. So those are our products, our tsunami line, if you will, of, of products that can be put into a store and resold by a merchant. Uh, and we break it down by the promo merchants, company stores, and, and then uh, personalized product or custom product people. So I see more and more apps being built that are going to be focused on certain segments. Um, we're going to add uh, digital more for printers that uh, oh may do stationary and so forth. We'll have those categories in there. But that seems to be a better trend is this the plug-in trend with apps uh, in in the app store. Um, we integrate other into other platforms like your one of your sponsors. Uh, they have company stores. We can integrate into any platform like that. But it's sure growing, folks. I'm I'm just telling. We get more and more calls all the time. People wanting to do personalization, and a lot of people once we tell them that they don't have to, they don't have to print everything themselves. They can drop ship it. <laughs> or they go, oh, that's uh -huh. great because you know they realize time. They don't have the time to do everything they want to do. Yeah. So yeah, they can add a few products that they can drop ship and it really, you know, and make damn good margins. You can still make your 40 to 45 uh, percent. You might make 50 to 60 if you were printing, but, you know, you're not losing that much there in that spread. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You're saving a lot of time, too. Sure. Yeah. 10 so. 10 percent to just uh, be able to uh, push a button and, and sell, you know, and get on to the next sale. That's a that's a big deal. And then right. to point that finger at them if something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, when they've screwed up the mug, you know, that's their screw up that's sitting around, not the uh, screw up that's sitting on your table. <laughs> right, and that's and that's a good point because in our software, at least, and a lot of other ones have it, is that this is called live dynamic imaging. When the customer goes in there and does something online, 
They really need to see what they have done immediately so they can approve it. It's basically they're, they're self-approving. And, and you can put a little verbiage down there. When you click this link and you see it here, you're saying you like it. And what you see is what you're going to get. So don't yeah. come back at me later. You don't say that. But <laughs> the point is you can let them see it and approve it. And that's that's a growing trend, too, for all kinds of uh, print stuff. So yeah. uh, print products. Nice, nice. So, so Vic, you already kind of gave us a little breakdown on the cost, but maybe just real quick, give us another uh, rundown just kind of from, like I said, Shopify Lite all the way into kind of what the professional is. And what yeah, are we looking at cost-wise for something like this? Uh, like Shopify, Shopify Lite is $9.00. The vast majority of folks can use just the $29 subscription with Shopify. We, uh, if, if, if I personally gets involved and we don't have to, if you're just doing static images and you don't want personalization, you don't want monogram and you don't want any variable data on there, you don't need, we don't, you don't need us. Uh, but, uh, you can get by with 29. If, if you're, if you're, if you're wanting to do a lot of shipping, um, uh, use some different shipping tools that are more sophisticated. Yeah. You'll need to go with the $79 version of Shopify. And then they have a, a more of an enterprise version. I think it's uh two ninety nine. Okay. Uh, roughly there. Uh, they do a lot more support for you uh, and hold your hand a lot more. Sure. Uh, but those are really exceptions and much bigger companies, not the small and medium sized markets that we go to. Sure. Uh, and then it's, Go ahead, Terry. I was just going to ask: Is there is there a, a, an upfront cost to get started, or uh, with with I personally? Well, the twenty nine dollars gets you going. We well, we typically do. Someone comes to us wants to buy a website. We say, look, uh, we'll help you build it. Uh, we we do a, a the premier sublimation store uh, deal with uh, we Condi, but that's their Condi edition. But we would uh -huh. do it with Coastal or anybody else that wants to do it. Um, we. Typically, if someone calls me up and says they want soup to nuts, turnkey Shopify store, and you know I, that's all we know, I'll start talking about two thousand dollars setup and then ninety nine dollars a month. But with the Condi deal, and I would do it with other suppliers, uh, is it, we do it for a thousand dollars. I spend three or four hours with them online, showing them how everything works. We're just trying to you know trying to educate them, help them get going fast. Right. We'll get that store up probably with if they cooperate and give us their ideas and feedback. <laughs> you know, if we can get them to work with us, uh, uh, we can get that store up in three or four weeks. Easy. And uh, we that's 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 if we're building a turnkey startup store. If they've already got an existing store in Woo, in uh, WordPress or WooCommerce, uh, BigCommerce, even in Magento, we can integrate into it. Uh, that's $750, and it's still $99 a month for our tool, which allows the online personalization uh, and and monogramming and so forth, uh, we our system will after a user goes in there and say they're doing a monogram phone case, and you let them put two or three letters in there on on a pre design Products can be set up exactly the way anybody wants, but once they go in and do that, our system creates the production artwork and sends the artwork either back to the store owner if they're going to do their own production, or it sends it to uh, someone in our network or a supplier that they want to produce that product. So, you know, it takes the, it does do all the artwork, which frankly is a big problem for a lot of folks. And yeah. you know, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the work on our end is usually just setting up a brand new product. Uh, God, we've done everything from tennis shoes to skins for drones. Uh, wow. I mean, it's amazing that, the creativity out there. I've always admired that. And I admire people that are trying to span their lifestyle and make more money by going into a business. I think it's a wonderful thing to do. Sublimation is great. All these digital tools are great, but I think they need to do it smart and they need to start by testing ideas and, and, uh, and making sure their product is going to attract some attention. Uh, there's no sense in, burning money there's you need to be a lean startup right <laughs> start up and do it carefully and methodically i'm glad to talk to anybody that wants to talk about that i i like to talk and, <laughs> and i don't you know, i don't charge for talking to somebody for an hour or so, <laughs> nice. so you know, anytime really. yeah yeah i mean terry you and i saw that 
for for years when we were you know involved when i was involved with the direct-to-garment thing you know people would put all their you know and you've talked about this before people put all their eggs into this you know equipment and all this other stuff but yet they don't have the ability to sell right you gotta sell that's what brings in revenue there's no point learning to print first is really backwards you learn to sell make sure you can sell something and then I, I suggest people drop ship a few things and get that going, build right. up a client base. And then if they want to print and that's really what they're after, great. Uh, add that and you get some extra margin. But I, I just see it over and over again. I, I you know, Folks call me up and I say, uh, do you know what a domain name is? And they go, no. <laughs> have you ever had a bank account for a business? No. Do you have an EIN? No. Well, uh, I don't know that this is a really great idea for you to do it right now. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, let's let's talk about this. Uh, I should, guess I shouldn't be turning people off, but, you know, God bless uh, Condi and, and uh, the other suppliers out there. They do a great job, Sawgrass, of trying to educate people. I mean, their their stuff is great, but it's ex post facto. It's after it's after they buy stuff, after they buy a printer and stuff. That's not really the first step folks need to take. Yeah. They need to, they need to learn how they're going to sell. Yeah. Well, I, I think anybody uh, listening or watching this show uh, is is in the category of understanding what a domain name is. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, it's 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 a fundamental thing. And that's one of the things that when I get new folks, I say, OK, here's the terms we use. Domain name. That's what this is. Here's what a URL is. Everybody has one. If you look at the top of your of your screen and your browser, that 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 little line of word looking code up there is is a url and we you can take those and stick them everywhere that's the common thing is to do one product uh and have it linked to a shopping cart uh, and and see if somebody will buy it i mean you can send it to family and friends uh and you know it's very inexpensive to do that we we build those with personalization in them uh but uh, you don't have to do it that way you can just put a image on there yeah but uh we, a lot we, of cool we, things coming down the pike. You, you know, Vic, I, I always tell people in my classes that if you don't have any business, you haven't told anybody what business you're in because what what we have to sell is is our products that people really want. So yeah, yeah, and it's and they're great products. I mean, frankly, the ability to make small runs of products and get them out fast is just is just uh, is huge. Now and it allows entrepreneurs to go. God, it, yeah. it sounds like you have an order coming in right now. The IRS, <laughs> the IRS, has no problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. uh, but it's just great that people are so interested in going into these business. I understand from some of the suppliers that they get 30, 40 calls a day of people that want in, they want information about sublimation or something. How do I do this? I saw this at a show. Looks great. Well, you know that's great, but uh, you don't have to print first. Yeah. You need to sell. You need to sell first, because money keeps you in business. And uh, as we say in Texas, money talks, and you know BS walks. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You edit that out, I guess. No, we 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 can say BS. That's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> appreciate We're on you. the internet, and we can say whatever we want. Oh well, <laughs> that's right. Hold on, Hold on <laughs> to <Terry>. a certain <laughs> extent. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you have to edit you. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, real quick uh, question from one of the regulators, one of the listeners. Holly asks. Uh, your app does allow does it allow me to fulfill production or, yes. or is there is there more cost for that uh, no it doesn't we don't care who does the production frankly uh if we uh the order can come back to you and uh, uh you you can fulfill it or if you had somebody else you wanted to go to we can set that up but no it absolutely comes back to you with production artwork i mean as soon as a customer buys something on your store they'll get an email basically saying uh, you know, thank you for your order and so forth. And the store owner will get the email too. Now, if it's one of our orders, uh, they'll get two links on there. One link will show them a thumbnail, very quick, just a thumbnail of what the customer ordered, just for grins. And then the other link will take them to the production uh, ready artwork, PG, uh, PD, PNG, PDF, uh, a JPEG, and they can quickly download it. If it's somebody that we, and that's for them, now, if it's a uh, if it, if the order's going to a supplier that we work with, by the time they get that email, that that order is already on the production floor of that supplier, and yeah. uh, and so that you know it's all totally automated, which you kind of have to do 
uh, with digital in order to keep the cost down and so forth. Because, yeah. you know, you're in a one-off instead of doing 100 items. Yeah. You want the cost to be as low as possible per totally. unit. All right. A couple of quick uh, comments too. Uh, Todd says, uh, where to go? A car salesman doesn't build a car. He just sells it. So that was uh, in <laughs> right. response to, that's a good one. Um, okay. And then Holly says, I use a POD print on demand now and focus on one area that I like to produce. Excellent. Um, that's Jan, focus is good. Yeah, for sure. Jan says, uh, I've been wanting to do an informational site only for Letterman's jackets, but have struggled with what I have used in the past. I'm an embroiderer, not a web gal. Is this something for Shopify? Yes. Yes. In Shopify, you could actually set up a, a an informational site. That's Those are called content sites. There, there's no, uh, there's not a uh, shopping cart attached to it. Yeah. Uh, and you can, yes, you can do that in Shopify as well. That's cool. probably it. That's a $29 uh, a month subscription with Shopify. Okay. Uh, but yeah. you, you basically just don't go in. Uh, and do that. We when we develop a store, we develop a store without any chart. I mean, the there's no charge while the store is in development uh, to the store owner because it, until we at the end when they're happy with it, they're over with it. We say, "Are you happy with it?" Yes, and they say, "Go." We transfer the ownership to them, and then they set that up. And so uh, it's anyway that yeah. yes, you okay. can do that. All right. And then one, one last comment here before uh, we get into the next question here. But uh, Jay just wanted to mention that that was actually him calling Vic, uh, trying to set up a new Shopify account with, <laughs> with Tsunami because he would like to laser engrave personalized taco shells. So there he is again. He's very persistent. <laughs> is that him going, with, golly? <laughs> <laughs> <Probably later>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. All right, uh, Terry, so go ahead there. Sure. Hey, hey, Vic, what have you had the most success with using Shopify and your program? Oh, well, most success. Uh, gosh, there's so many clients. Uh, it's the people that have a real defined focus on a product. For instance, I mentioned uh, we had a company that did drones, believe it or not. Yeah. And they put skins on drones. Okay. So they have to see the skin and it has to, then it, it gets wrapped around this drone. Now you think, well, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of a weird product and all that. And, and it kind of is, but the focus down onto something like that, a niche uh, enables what they call the long tail, right? In the marketing sense, it's got a long run and boy, there's nobody else in there. So we're finding that to be very, very, uh, to be, be th things like people that have really focused down so that they can get to that customer, that that's that sliver of the market that 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 customer is there. Yeah. The other thing I will tell you, a coming thing that we're very excited about is Google shopping marketing wise. You know, you can you can do everybody talks about SEO. That's yep. great. That's just basic, fundamental, long term, organic takes for a while. Uh, you can also do Google pay per click, which, you know, you're going to pay for that. Yeah. A lot of people spend a ton of money on that. But another way of doing this, especially if you're selling a product, is to do Google shopping, which basically you've seen this when you go. And if you were to go out and put, I need an iPhone case uh, blue, you would put that into Google and it and it, it'll give you all this stuff. But it also might show you five or six different products out there that you can actually buy. That is Google shopping. The trick to Google shopping is that you have to feed that information into Google exactly the way you way they need it and it's exact if you do that though uh, and, and guess what Shopify has an app for that you can add that to your store for nothing and it'll you know you got to make the image right you got to make the description right you have to have everything right the way they want but we're finding a, a huge amount of traction people are getting by using Google shopping and yes it does cost but it's working so I'm telling you it's worth it nice. so that's a great um, tip. Yeah, it's, it's it's worth their looking into Google Shopping. Um, nice. Yeah, okay. So. Cool. All right, Vic. So uh, you've kind of given us a, a ton of like great pointers and and things to look at. But thank you. But give us some give us some predictions. What what are you seeing in the future of online selling? Yeah, break out the crystal ball. Oh, I'm I'm seeing more and more interest in smart links. As I mentioned, these smart links. Uh, Shopify is you know of course head of the game with with these. Um, these uh, Google uh, Shopify Lite, yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of people are going toward them, seeing more and more of that. And B two B, you know the the B two C marketplace 
where you're trying to sell a product to consumers, like say you're you're going to work with SEO, pay per click, you're going to work with Google Shopping. It's it's a bit of a crowded market, and to get attention, you you know you got to be dedicated and focused and and narrow focused and, and do that. But B two B is there's it's bigger almost in a way. Uh, if you have a company in your town or a soccer league or uh, your church, uh, uh, I have a gentleman I'm working with on a program Shopify store now that does uh, uh, has big you know mega church and uh, it's. <laughs> could be one of the best things ever really because it's you know they've got ten thousand folks there right (laughs) and uh, you can set up a shopify store that has uh different they're different like for the choir and for this group and this group and this group oh my goodness that's that's b2b business and the advantage there again is that you do not you know who your market is they probably have an email list they probably can post it on the on the board so b i see that going more and more uh, a trend uh, more and more of the stores are, are focusing that way. Um, I'm uh, we're, you know, I've always been in the promo world and we're focusing with our tsunami app. We're the only app that actually focuses on promotional products. And so when they come in and, and select a promotional product, and you're like, I'm going to do a 15 ounce mug. Okay. Having been in the industry, I know that 60% of the business is probably going to be a logo on a mug done. Okay. But then we also offer pre-made templates that, and pre-made is a trend, uh, pre-existing template that lets them add text underneath. Okay, that second one, third one might be that plus a picture on the other side. A fourth one might be two pictures on the other side. But give them various pre-made options so that they're focused in on that promotional uh, corporate customer. So they, you know, everybody's lazy. They don't want to work. So give them what they want and do most of the work for them and, Therefore, you will achieve success. I think. You, you know, I love the Shopify light because there's so many people who want to get involved in in some type of online yeah. business. And that's a great way to, to to stick your toe in the water. Yeah. Be glad to talk with anybody and show them, you know, tell them what I know about it. Uh, unfortunately, Shopify does not allow we, we can integrate into everything. The templates they have are their their uh, storefronts they have, but they there's no way for us to get into their code. Uh, to integrate our designer into it. But I don't think, think you, if you're starting off, that's not no. what you need to do. Uh, yeah, I agree. Personalization is an add on, uh, a more sophisticated add on. Uh, it's got sizzle to it, but you can start with a good design. And uh, that's really key. And there's plenty of good design out there if you look around. Yeah. It, uh, there's artists everywhere. There's lots of nice folks out there on all the uh, sh- Facebook groups that can provide some good stuff. And you can, tweak it a little bit and, yeah. and get it going, you know? Nice. Hey, real quick, uh, Vic, uh, Holly's uh, in checking out the Tsunami app and, and had a, had another question for you here. Uh, she said, I don't see ornaments as an option. Do you have that? Uh, not right at this moment, but uh, we basically are uh, April 1st. We're adding in uh, a whole host of more supply. Uh, and ornaments will be in there. Uh, we're adding in, for instance, Org Audio. I don't know if you, you know who that is, Original Audio. And mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and spill it out right now. Yeah. We're going to have Yeti products. Nice. Oh, Actual nice. Yeti products. Yeti. I'm going to tell you, Yeti will sue your tail off if yep. you do anything with one of their products. They are known for that. Don't mess with them. Uh, they'll have you in court in a heartbeat. Yeah. But they – through uh we can go through a promotional there's only one source for those products in the promotional industry you got to go through that they send it to yeti to print and but we'll have that we'll have tag Hauer. we'll have mont blanc pins so april 1 we're going to have a whole slew of more products yes there you go. <laughs> i know terry i just can't believe you would buy a 800 dollar pin <laughs> it was a gift i wouldn't <laughs> it, it was a gift, and and oh, it really? sits on my desk on this. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> but as a, as a writer, it's uh, this night is uh, is offering up this Mont Blanc pen for me to to write to <laughs> my next novel with. And we, see that as, we see that brands as a as a dropship option that's that we're going to get into because we have access to it. But we see more and more of that, and you know, you you have a brand in your store that you're reselling. That's you know, people recognize that there's a lot sure. for that. So that's very cool. Very cool. So. 
All right. Well, Vic, tell us how can people find you and learn more about what you have to offer? Well, I mean, it's you can if you just go to our website, ipersonalize.com. And let me make sure you everybody understands this. I, I personal, I-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-Y-Z-E. I couldn't get I-Z-E. Okay. Some guy in New Zealand had it and he wouldn't give it up and he's not even using it. So, <laughs> uh, but it's ipersonalize.com. Uh, there's a request uh, for a demo. You can you can send it through there. My phone number's there too. Call me anytime. I'll be glad to chat with you. Uh, right underneath that request for request uh, for a demo is a link to see uh, uh, take you to a page that'll show you a whole bunch of stores that we have, both in Shopify and Big Commerce and WooCommerce and Magento. We've got a whole bunch of them. They're different. We do like my Jelly Belly, which is a uh, the guys that do jelly beans. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They drove us kind of crazy building this <laughs> site, but you know, they, we can decorate the tins and put jelly beans, different assortments of jelly beans. It was kind of a mind bender for a while, but we got <laughs> that done. Uh, we've got uh, CNS, uh, uh, which is a huge wholesaler of food up in the Northeast where they have six or seven brands. Good B2B operation. We got a couple of schools there. You know, the, the, the uses are endless. And the, the opportunities are endless with the digital printing and, and for, for people wanting to go into the business. I, I strongly encourage them to do it, but do it smart. And, let, and let's talk about it and listen to guys like Terry and Aaron that have been there and myself too. Uh, <laughs> me being the oldest right. person by far. Uh, <laughs> we're, taking out, we're always glad to talk and share what we know, but that's, that's a good thing to do. Yeah. All right, Vic, before we let you go, one one more last question just uh, from Todd here it says, you're not fooling us on the April 1st launch, are you? No. <laughs> matter, of fact, matter of fact, I'll tell you the truth on that. I had planned on February 1st and my team, uh, I, I threw a curve at them and made them. Uh, sw we switched some servers and got a, got we're, all we were on Amazon. We're going to a little, another one. And so I threw a curve at them, made them go to that. And so they Okay, I said, well, okay, this is going to push back your other deal. I said, okay, fine. But no, April 1st. <laughs> April 1st. All right. Gotcha. No April Fool's joke. We'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there. All right. Cool. Only Todd would pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, Vic. Well, thank you so much. Great, great information. Well, and uh, looking forward to, yeah, my, my wife's been uh, really digging into Tsunami herself. So uh, I will be in touch. And uh, yeah, she's trying to figure out how to make it work for her business. So we're, we're excited about it. We're polishing it up, and and if you have a proc they want to set up, we can set up individual procs for people, and it won't. It'll only be for her. It won't be for everybody else. But we'll. It's private, just for them. But we'll. Cool. We're glad to work with anybody. Thank you, cool. though. God, appreciate Thanks. the time, fellas. Great, awesome. Thanks, right. Rick. Talk to you later, Vic. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, Terry, sorry, I'm jumping you here because I don't have anything to do with my hands, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I keep wanting to click buttons and I just can't do it. Uh, so, but uh, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, Ace Transfer, and then we'll come back and uh, close this up. Have you been looking to grow your business or start one in the garment decoration industry? After all, that's why you're listening, right? Ace Transfer Company is located in Springfield, Ohio, and we've provided our customers with high quality transfers, competitive prices, and great customer service for nearly 30 years. Ace Transfer Company offers a wide variety of garment decoration services, including screen printed transfers, contract screen printing, direct to garment or DTG, dye sublimation, signs, banners, heat transfer vinyl, pressure sensitive vinyl, and more. Use your own designs or have our in-house artists assist you in creating eye-catching transfers. At Ace, we are dedicated to helping your business succeed, so print your vision at Ace. For more information, visit our website, acetransfercompany.com. Send us an email at acetransco at gmail.com. That's A-C-E-T-R-A-N-S-C-O at gmail. Or give us a call at 800-525-3126. All right. Well, thanks to David and uh, over at Ace Transfer and all the folks there. We really appreciate your support. Awesome. All right. Uh, so Christy says, yay, that's six minutes from my house. I love Ace. So uh, good stuff there. Uh, <laughs> testimonial right there. So appreciate there that. Um, all right, Terry, a uh, couple other things to uh, to note here again, uh, make sure that everybody remembers to uh, go check out two regular guys.com slash YSG for your style guide. Um, I'm uh, we'll, we'll go. Uh, I'll go check in with Jay and see uh, 
if those if there's still any left because uh, our first announcement but uh, like i said the first 20 people get a 30 minute uh, brand audit with jay himself um i'm sure he'll be chowing down on a taco during that time but uh, <laughs> uh good stuff there and then the other thing uh that uh, we're getting real excited about in fact had had an opportunity to talk with eric about it the other night but uh we're getting getting close so you're going to see information coming here hot and heavy for eric's demystifying digitizing webinar which is going to be happening on the 28th of march and uh he's going to be talking about uh better running, bolder, more beautiful embroidery with a faster cycle from concept to completion. And uh, he's got some great kind of uh, freebies that will be uh, handed out along the way. And so that will actually start flowing out next week. So this is kind of your your last chance to get uh, get on the list before uh, everything starts happening here. So it's ericcampbell.com slash demystifying dash digitizing dash webinar. And uh, Eric, we'll have to figure out how to shorten that a little bit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> DDW or something like that, but uh, no, good stuff there. So looking forward to uh, getting that going with Eric. And, and like I said, please uh, make sure that you are signed up on that list because uh, he's got some, Eric's just such a giving guy that the stuff that, that he puts out there for free is like, amazing and, and, and you won't and you won't let him do it anymore so <laughs> I, I will let him do it i just you know he, but you know but we've you know, but here's here's something i've discovered and and get off topic real quick but here's something i discovered when people get it for free they don't act on it so it, sure enough. it's it's just kind of going to waste you know and so if somebody's made an investment in it they, they take action on it and then that action turns into profit for them. So actually making the investment is actually better than getting the free stuff for them because they're, they're able to take action on it because, you know, like Vic mentioned along the way, we're all busy. We, we all got lots going on. Sometimes we'd rather just, you know, Netflix and chill and, uh, you know, or whatever it is that, that, that we do. And, and so when you're making the investment, you're going to actually use that information and, and make it improve your business. So exactly. uh, that's my, that's my uh, soapbox deal right there. <laughs> but, uh, and then Eric will be in uh, Kansas city with the three, all three of us. And uh, we're, he's going to be teaching debating digitizing expert answers for the digitizing curious. And uh, he will also be presenting treatments and digitizing techniques for specialty threads. So uh, two great uh seminars well, happening so, so who's eric debating with i mean is it just him debating himself or is that, I, I, think, that work? I think that's true um it's going to be <laughs> a a definite uh you know split personality thing or something I, <laughs> eric here's what i would encourage you to do have two seats and make a point stand up walk over to the other seat sit down and make the next <laughs> point so <laughs> I challenge that point. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. awesome. What about you, Terry? I know you've got lots of stuff coming up as usual. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've got uh, my complete screen printing business course. I'm going to be at Atlas Screen Supply in Nashville. That's uh, February 15th and 16th. I'll be doing that same class at Workhorse Products in Phoenix, February 29th, leap year, uh, and March 1st. <laughs> uh, I'll also be, uh, obviously, at Dax, Kansas City. Uh, presentation there is uh, being on being a great all caps on being a great screen printer. That's going to be Saturday, February twenty second at uh, uh, from ten twenty to eleven forty, and of course the two regular guys are going to be at ThreadX here in Scottsdale, February twenty third through twenty fifth, and uh, all my upcoming events, Aaron, are uh, up and updated on my website terrycombs.com. I know <laughs> it's going to be under the tab tour date, so go check it out. I say this is my proud face. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer that guy that you uh, you talk about in your seminars. Let I me know. give you an example of a of a website that is not being used properly. <laughs> <laughs> of, yeah, I, I know. I've, I'm really struggling to find other what not to know. That's not true. There's lots of other what not to do sites out there. I just <laughs> right feel feel uh, feel bad about it because I knew you wouldn't care so <laughs> that much. But uh, all right, cool. So uh, for me, I've got. Uh, well, next next Wednesday is the last one of the live series, but uh, uh, Todd Downing and I have been uh, putting on uh, here, our success group and uh, our success group dot com is where you check that out. And uh, we started off our success group with five success keys, five things to do to to start or make your business successful. And uh, the final 
one of that series is happening next Wednesday. Now, if you sign up still, you get all of the, the first four still and, and all the recorded, all the questions and answer at the end is recorded. And, and so you get in on the, on all the, the fun, but uh, if you head over to our success group.com, you can sign up there and uh, that will get you into that group a little we got a little private Facebook group and all sorts of fun stuff going on there too. So, um, and then uh, February 19th, we will be launching phase two um, of, uh, of what our success group is becoming. And that'll be the bi-monthly training sessions that we do. So really excited about that. And uh, it's been going well. And, and uh, so we'd love for you guys to join us and participate. Um, all right. And then uh, I am actually heading off to Las Vegas right before Dax, Kansas City. So I'm again. I've mentioned this before, but I'm I'm pulling the Terry Combs of living out of my suitcase for a long time, <laughs> and uh, so that'll be happening at the International Awards and Personalization Expo. I've got two sessions there. Uh, first one being Social Media 101: Why and How, kind of a a real basic overview there for folks, and uh, the second session will be Growing Your Business with Email Marketing, and uh, both of those sessions will be happening on Tuesday, February 18th. And uh, then the next day, I will be participating in a sublimation panel uh, with Jimmy Lamb and Lisa. And I always forget Lisa's last name. And so I apologize, Lisa. Lisa from JDS, though. So it'll be the three of us. We actually had a uh, pre-panel call this week. And uh, as you might guess, it was a uh, Jimmy Lamb uh, it, it dominated <laughs> call with Jimmy being the of the party. Did you get to talk? <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, but, uh, you know, Jimmy's always a lot of fun, lots of great information. <laughs> and so, you know, it will be lively and uh, I will make sure that I get a word in edgewise because so, <laughs> Lisa's really good, too. So uh, I, I feel like I'm going to have to really bring my A game to that sublimation panel. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and then, uh, as we mentioned, Dax Kansas City is happening. So I will be presenting there starting in, in e-commerce, what works and what didn't. Uh, talking about the Shopify stuff that we've talked about here today that that. Uh, my wife and I have been building with weheart.biz. So I'm excited about that. Excited about DAX in general. Um, we're getting the, the, we've got a booth there. So um, have a place to hang out. In fact, a great idea from my friend Todd said uh, we should put cell phone chargers in the booth because we want people to just come in and hang out with us. So we're going to have sofas and aut ottomans and stuff like that. That's so, a great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was fantastic. So making all that is, happen. Is that because Todd needs to charge his cell phone when he is at the... Yeah, basically. But, <laughs> so but, hey. it's just very self-serving. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I'm okay with that. But uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that's... So yeah, I, I think that's plenty. Terry, do you think we got enough going on? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I'm actually traveling today myself, but uh, really? not for work. I'm, I'm oh, wow. uh, heading out to Austin. My That's my son, Chris, who lives in uh, Manhattan, he, uh, he's he got a meeting in Austin and my other son, Mike, lives in Austin. And and my uh, my granddaughter, Zoe, her birthday's this weekend. And uh, to boot, you know, we're big Chiefs fans because we came from Kansas City. So we're going to be uh, watching the game and uh, in my son's bar behind his house and uh, having cool. a big old time. I'm going to be wearing my jersey that I was wearing when the Chiefs won the uh, the AFC championship. So uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. That's right. I forgot all about that uh, that thing. I don't think we're allowed to say what it's called, but never. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be watching the Chiefs this weekend. That's all I can that's say. A, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody so much. Uh, you know, Terry, we've come to the close of another show and I really appreciate Vic's time today and uh, all the great information from Vic. So make sure you're checking him out over at I personalize. And remember that's with a Y at the end, I personalize.com and, uh, and a Z <laughs> and, and a Z. That's true. Good point. All right. So yeah, all right. Terry, I think we've, I think we've done enough damage for one day. All right. Very good. We want to thank uh, our show producer, Eric Campbell for popping up all those messages and, and playing all the commercials and, mm -hmm. and helping us plan all these shows. We appreciate all your help, Eric, and uh, our sponsors, Impressions Expo, Printavo, and Ace Transfer Company. Yep. And next week, Terry, uh, excitement uh, continues. We, we've got uh, the schedule just keeps filling up. So yeah. again, make sure that, uh, you know, if you've got something to say and would like to be on the show, you head over to that Calendly link that we shared earlier. But next week, Michael, and I'm not even going to try his last name because I haven't uh, haven't gotten with him to get the exact pronunciation. <laughs> Momeno. I, I guess I said I wouldn't try, but I did try. So um, <laughs> that's going to be right. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. <laughs> Michael Momeno. And he actually is here in the co working uh, space with me. A really great guy. So uh, uh, I'm going to be talking with him this week to make sure that we're, we're all set. But uh, his company is called Money Concepts. 
and uh, he's going to talk with us about a roadmap your way to business success in 2020. So kind of taking taking things and actually putting them into action, an action plan. Um, he's a financial planner, so he's all very good at planning and, and getting that together. So um, looking forward to that. Also super excited for the open of the show too, Terry. We're, we're going to be interviewing a guy that many of you will probably know. His name's Jay Bear, and uh, his company is called uh, Convince and Convert. Uh, but he's a uh, well-known author, Have uh, wrote a book called Hug Your Haters and also another book called Talk Triggers. And uh, he will be the keynote speaker at the ThreadX event. So we're, I, I know, I don't know about you, Terry, but I am super stoked. He's like a rock star to me. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> excited to, to hear from him as well. And also uh, to hear his presentation at ThreadX. And and uh, I'm, I, I'm assuming there's still some openings at ThreadX here in uh, Scottsdale at the end of uh, at the end of the month, uh, but uh, or at the end of uh, February. And uh, you can find that at SGIA.org. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, Aaron, until next week, uh, I'm Terry Combs. He's Aaron Montgomery. And we are the two regular guys. Thank you for listening to Two Regular Guys. Check out our website at tworegularguys.com. That's the number two, regularguys.com. You can also interact with us over at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash two regular guys, or send us a tweet, twitter.com slash two regular guys. And we have a YouTube page. You can find all that from our website, tworegularguys.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to spending some time with you again next week.